Hey everybody, Hans Herke here. Welcome back to my channel. Hope everyone is doing well. Today I'm at the uh, Comfort Inn Suites in Oceanside. I'm not in my usual living room setup where I have my popcorn and things like that for a movie review. Um, I'm in Oceanside for our last week of filming of Animal Kingdom Season 4. That's right, Season 4. If you have not watched the show, I suggest you start watching it now. But besides that, let's get on the movie review, shall we? Um, over the weekend, my wife and I saw the movie Aladdin, the live action remake that Disney is now banking on with all these live action remakes coming out with Lion King. Uh, they're going to do Little Mermaid. They're going to do Lady and the Tramp. I mean, what else are they going to keep doing? That's, that's just how they make their money. Uh, so we went and saw the Aladdin remake, the live action version. Um, for the most part, it was a good movie. I had a few issues with it, though. It is an enjoyable movie to watch. There's a lot of nostalgia in it, and that's what Disney is really banking on, is the nostalgia from all of these live action remakes. People get their heartstrings tugged on. Oh, I remember that in the animated version, and oh, that makes me feel like a kid again. And there were moments in this movie that made me feel like a kid again when I watched that film back in 1992 when it came out. Um, but there were a few issues that I had with this remake, live action version. Um, let's see, the first musical number, One Step Ahead of the Red Line, blah, blah, blah. That musical number was really, really choppy. I don't know what was happening with the editing. Um, and some of the music, like the, the singing was off with the actor's mouth like the dubbing was not in sync with the actor's mouth and you could totally tell that the song was dubbed there's movies where i see singing with the actor or the actress singing the song and it feels like that the song is part of the scene that they're in like it's 100 percent. it flows it's one fluid thing this i felt like yeah this was obviously a very dubbed song that they threw over you know, the audio track for the movie, because when they were filming that scene, I'm sure that the actor had to sing the song as they're doing all the actions, but that's what it felt like. It felt like they took that audio track and just slapped it right on that scene, and it just looked very mouthed, and there were some parts of that song where you would see, you would hear the actor singing, and they'd look at the actor's mouth, and the actor's mouth was not moving during some of those shots. And the, the editing was just really, really choppy, like the camera movements and things like that. And that's another thing I noticed too, when they, when they break into dance in this movie, there's a couple of times where it felt like they sped up the frames. It was really weird, like their movements were just super fast, as if they put it on like times two when they uh, edited the film. You'll notice that in a couple musical numbers. Um, another issue I had with it was the horrible, horrible miscasting of Jafar. I did not feel intimidated by this actor whatsoever. His voice was not intimidating at all. He also had funny lit movements when he said lamp and other things. Um, but he would, did not come across as intimidating or snarky or evil at all like the Jafar did in the Aladdin cartoon version. The Aladdin in the cartoon version, I remember having a deep voice, evil laugh, all that stuff. This guy had none of that. Most of the time, he was just standing there with his staff like this. And occasionally saying some dialogue, and that goes along with his parrot, Iago. When I heard um, Alan Tudyuk was going to do, I hope I'm saying his last name right, was going to do the voice of Iago, I thought, awesome. We got another great voice actor, because he did the robot in Rogue One. We got another great voice actor that's going to bring personality to this parrot, just like Gilbert Godfrey did for um, Iago in, the, in the, uh, the cartoon version. Nope, not at all. Just Iago just sat there and just burned out a couple words, and that was it. He just made parrot noises. There was no funny slapstick humor. There was none of that. And I found out one of the reasons why uh, the director wanted to go for a more realistic feel for the film. But, I mean, obviously, rubbing a lamp and seeing a genie come out is realism, right? Um, no, it's supposed to be a fun fantasy film, and that parrot should have had personality, and Jafar should have been more evil and more intimidating 
and he really his performance just fell flat throughout the entire film. I even heard they did reshoots to make his character more intimidating, and from what I saw, that just did not come across at all. The casting of Jasmine, she was fantastic. She's beautiful. She was funny. She was witty. Um, she wanted to be very independent, and she also cared about the people of Agrabar, and uh, you know, she wanted to just go out there and become a leader, eventually become a leader of those people and help them out. And that's why she mingled with them a lot in the beginning of the film, is she wanted to see how the common folk lived, and that's why she had such a an attraction towards Aladdin himself, because she ultimately wanted to be somebody like that, because she's not allowed to go out as much when she's the princess. So the way she played off the character was really, really good. I liked her in that role. The guy who played Aladdin, he was really, really good too. Um, there, there were moments where I felt like he just, he seemed like a total goofball. And if I remember correctly in the film, in the cartoon version, I think he was sort of like that too. And lastly, we got to get to Will uh, Smith as the genie. Will Smith as a genie. Well, when the trailer came out for the movie, a lot of people laughed. Oh my God, what's up with this? The Fresh Prince of Blue Air and all this stuff. You know, a lot of jokes flying around. Um, I was very skeptical about him playing the genie. There's nobody that's going to replace the genie, Robin Williams. No one is ever going to replace Robin Williams playing that role. When I see Jeannie, I see and hear Robin Williams' personality and voice in that character. The good thing about Will Smith is that he took that character, Did I don't think he um, pulled any influence from Robin Williams, and he made the Jeannie his own character, and I totally respect that he did that. He was not trying to copy Robin Williams in any way. Now, there is a lot of nods to Robin Williams' character, in the movie, I mean, I've watched videos where they they take the audio track from the new song, Never Had a Friend Like Me, and they put it with the older version with Robin Williams, and both of them mesh together perfectly. Um, I, I don't think that Will Smith was trying to copy uh, Robin Williams in any way, and I'm glad he didn't. I'm glad that he made it his own character, and when uh, the genie is not blue, and when it's just, you're looking at Will Smith, he was actually really, really good with that, and you felt that chemistry between him and Aladdin when they were um, when the genie was a person, and when they when he frees genie at the end of the film. Sorry, I spoiled it for you, but you all should know the story of Aladdin. It's pretty uh, self-explanatory. If you've seen the cartoon, there's nothing going to be spoiled when you watch the movie. It pretty much is a remake of the cartoon. In some ways, they took a couple liberties and added a couple things. Um, the guy that played the Sultan, he was really, really good. Funny thing about that is I was in a film with that guy. I did not have a scene with him. I was going to have a scene with him. It would have been cool to act opposite of that guy because he is a really good actor. Um, he was in the film Carving Life. He played the doctor. Very, very good man. And I was surprised when I saw a picture of one of our cast members with him. I said, oh my God, he's... He's the Sultan in the movie. That's really good. They did a great makeup job on him and everything. Um, he was really good. The sets were really, really awesome. They looked very... I, it, it's hard to... I'm trying to find the right word. Almost cookie cutter-ish. Like, they just... The sets looked very plain and simple. The wardrobe on all the extras and background were really vibrant and colorful. And I think what they were trying to go for was that they had that cartoon look they were trying to emulate what people saw in the cartoon and they did it pretty well on the screen and the musical numbers are good um there's a couple new ones they added one for princess jasmine of course um but you know if you're looking for a fun summer film to watch at the movies with your family and you want to be entertained and just be out of your element for it's almost it's what two two plus hour movie that's a long movie for a kid's movie. The cartoon, I think, was a lot shorter than that. Um, but this movie is quite long for a kid's film. Um, but if you want to have a little fun and have a little hint of nostalgia or just have a fun Saturday or Sunday afternoon at the movies, go check out Aladdin. Um, you won't be disappointed. 
the only issues I had, of course, were just Iago, Jafar, and uh, the beginning musical number was just very choppy and put together. But uh, other than that, I think you guys will enjoy it. So check it out when you get a chance. That's all for I have for today. So if you're new to the channel, please subscribe, hit the notification button below. And if you're not watching Animal Kingdom, we're in season four already. You should start watching it like right now. Go on Amazon Prime, go on, I think it's Netflix, but Hulu, TNT app, wherever you can watch it, start watching it now, I promise you. You will not be disappointed. It's a very good show. And I know it's not very biased right now because I work on it. But seriously, it's a really good show. You need to watch it. But going back to Aladdin, check it out if you have a chance. If not, rent it when it comes on DVD and video or Blu-ray. Video, I can't believe I said video. I must be still thinking about Hollywood video and Blockbuster. That's, wow. DVD and Blu-ray or on cable when it comes on a cable. Check it out then. That's all for now. Thank you so much for tuning in. See you on the next one. This is Hans, out.